Hey everybody, Andrew Pew Brothers. Today we're going to be talking about MTM products, ammo crates specifically, that I use for my long-term bulk ammo storage. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you go down if you haven't already and subscribe to our channel because we got more content like this coming up. Also, do me another huge favor and give me the like. Now, if you're not interested and you're saying, no, oh, I'm only metal ammo cans, do me a favor, stick around. I'm going to show you what one of these MTM products does uh, when it's dropped from the second story of a house. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by going through this equipment list. We'll mention some of this stuff here later. But really quickly, we have a black Sharpie Magic Marker. We have some blue painter's tape, some clear scotch tape, a desk packet here, as well as some zip ties, some scissors, and X-Acto or utility knife. All right, over the last couple months, I've picked up some ammo that I have not yet added to my long-term bulk ammo uh, storage solution. So guys, you can do this a lot of different ways. I personally am a fan of the MTM products. Again, I have a 50 caliber can over here. I was able to find this on sale on Amazon and thus far it has been the most economical and trusted method that I can find to store my am ammunition in. You heard me right, I said trusted. One. But wait, there's more. Ammunition is a, uh, a lot more of an investment now than what it was in years past. And we want to make sure that we can keep our ammo in a good, reliable uh, condition for many years to come. Especially for those of us that shoot a lot, uh, we might have a lot of ammo laying around. We need to make sure that we can store it so that reliability remains. Today, we're going to work through breaking down some boxes of Defender 9mm ammunition. We also have a couple other calibers that we don't have in uh, great of size, but we're going to break those down into another MTM product. Now, some of you guys might be asking, why would I break down already packaged stuff? Um, I think Weston wants to be on the uh, episode of Pew Brothers. He's, he's over here at the back with Mama. Uh, the reason why you want to break down your uh, already cased ammunition when it comes in a cardboard box is simply because guys this is what i would say if we were talking about the do's and don'ts of ammo storage this is a don't for me uh first reason we're trying to remove cardboard from the situation almost entirely i don't think that the cardboard up here is going to make a huge uh, contribution to moisture but down here we still have a lot of cardboard that can retain moisture and transfer it over to our rounds the other thing is You'll see here, I have 16 boxes of 50 round uh, 9 millimeter. Now that translates into 800 rounds of ammunition. This is 700 rounds shy of what I can do if I bring it in here uh, just in bulk. No boxes, just raw ammunition. So some people may say, hey, this is how I store my ammunition. And I'm not necessarily saying it's a wrong, just for the things that I'm trying to do. A, avoid moisture, and B, maximize space and efficiency. This really isn't going to do it for you. All right, let's go ahead and start breaking down this box of Defender 9mm. Guys, if you haven't tried Defender, they're right down the road from me uh, over in Rayford, North Carolina. They make a really good, affordable product, and I use them, uh, I guess I could almost say exclusively for my range time events. Now, Pretty much two types of ammunition storage you're going to see here. Some products I get from Defender, they have loose ammunition here inside the box. But for this particular one, I have individually boxed uh, 50 round counts of 115 grain 9mm. Now I have probably, I don't know, six or seven of these uh, 1000 round count cases with the individual boxes in it. So what I'm going to do is start breaking this down to put inside of one of these MTM cans right here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you start to finish how I prep my uh, ammunition for long term uh, storage. Let's go ahead and get into it. First step add ammo, baby. All right, perfect. Now, for the inside of the ammo container, I have two things left to do. Now, all these boxes that I tore the tops off of to get the trays quickly out of there and dump them, I'm going to flip it to the other end. And this, um, this info sticker here with the caliber, with the grain, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut that out and I'm going to bring it right up here into this flat section on the inside of the lid here and I'm going to tape it with some clear scotch tape uh, just to give me an idea in case anything to the out anything occurs to the outside of the container I can have that information right over here. Snip through here. Let's clean this up a little bit. Take your information tab if you can and go ahead and stick the front side of it to your tape. That way you don't have to worry about juggling that when you get it there uh, ready to put on. You see I'm going to put it in this area right here. So I'm going to bring it over like so. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here to my uh, pack of desiccants. And I'm going to grab about four of these out. Three, four. Now, these are two gram packets of uh, desiccant that contain silica. Now, I know some of you may be wondering how I determine how many of these packets I placed inside each of my ammo containers. So I have two gram packets and the volume on the inside of my ammo container is roughly 490 cubic inches. So I only needed one, but if you look here at the bottom where it says we always recommend placing extra packets, yeah, I did that to the fourth power. Next thing, I would also recommend you check into these ammo crates not frequently, maybe once a year. I'll also place a link in the description as to where I got this information from. And I'm gonna put them in here for the purpose of reducing moisture inside of my ammunition. So if I open this case in six months or six years, hopefully I'll still have that high brass sheen right there. And remember, you can pick these up in um, with the link in the description below and it'll take you over to Amazon where you can get these decassants at. So I'm gonna plop those down in here. No big deal. Just go ahead and throw them down in there. And we are done with that part. We have our ammunition information here. It is Defender 9 mil, 115 grain. Let's close up this lid and take care of the outside. All right, now that we have all of our ammunition inside of here, our desk packs are in there. And again, our label is here up top. We are going to seal this unit up and get it ready for long-term storage. Now I'll tell you the first thing that I would do with this, MTM ships their products with a information sticker somewhere on them. As you can see, this one here is on the front where the lid clasp are at. I've taken the time to, whoops, I've taken the time to clean this down here because I'm gonna put some information down here that I want about the am ammunition I'm gonna be storing. But first, I'm gonna start up top. Now, this is a tip that I'm gonna throw you guys in on MTM does make the ammunition caliber stickers, um, but I like putting more information on there. It's just kind of like my little bit of OCD, so I know what I'm grabbing. I don't have to look a certain place. I put it all the way around, and I use blue painter's tape for that. Some of you guys might be saying, hey, well, I want to use duct tape. To each his own, but I'm gonna give you an example of this here. Duct tape, or any type of vinyl tape, this is uh, a demo I did for some green tip ammunition. If it comes in contact with moisture or anything wet, see how this fives over here? I just took a glass of water and uh, wet my finger here off camera. It didn't take very much effort at all to, uh, to wide out that five, and I could do it with the five beside it uh, or the six above it with no issue at all. What I use is painter's tape. And that's just not duct tape that I would stray away from. I'd stray away from any uh, gloss or vinyl finished uh, paint product, or excuse me, uh, tape product. So I'm gonna come up here on the top. I'm gonna try to be as neat as possible. I'm gonna come to this corner right here, put that down and come all the way across using my utility knife again, make my cut here and go on down. All right, now I'm gonna grab my Sharpie and what I'm gonna put up here is the specifics that I'm gonna be looking for when I grab this ammunition. Again, I do this on the side. You can do it on either side, the space is the same, but I want to do this on the side where my clasp are at. So when I go to open it up, stand in front of it, I'm gonna be looking right down here at the top. 
And what I'm going to do is first, and I do all my stuff the same way, it's all uniform, you'll be able to see it across all of my products or all of my uh, ammo storage. I'll show you more later. I do the quantity with a line under it, dash nine millimeter. And some down, somewhere down here, I might put the brand. So when I come to this, and I'll tilt it up a little bit so you guys can see that. I have the quantity, the caliber, the manufacturer, and the grains. This may be a little bit of overkill, but I'm gonna start doing that on both sides. Now, why do you say that? Or why, why I'm gonna do this? Well, because this ammunition is gonna be stacked for me, and I don't know necessarily how I'm gonna stack it yet, so I don't know what side I'm gonna be looking at. I know that up here on the top, I'm always gonna be looking at this when I go to open it, but for whatever reason, if it's stacked in the corner and I don't wanna to have to go over there and get in front of it, I can look from a distance and save myself a considerable amount of time. So again, I'm gonna take my blue painter's tape. Find me a little piece here on the end. Guys, I'm, I can almost guarantee you that is not level. I don't do a very good job eyeballing stuff like that, but I tried. I'm gonna take my utility knife here again, and swirl it up. What am I gonna put here? The exact same thing I put on the top. And by the way, I got a little uh, out of track doing this uh, for the camera. I should have did all these markings um, before, because obviously now I have 1500 rounds of nine millimeter in here, but I wasn't sure how many rounds this would hold. I guess I could have researched it, but I didn't. The last thing that I'm gonna do here on camera to show you guys this, I'm gonna grab my zip tie, and I always go on the left side. This here is to remind me that this is a case. This is an ammo that I can readily go inside of. This is my final stop. Hey, this case isn't opening all the way up. Why not? Oh yeah, because you have other ammo. You do not need to go in this. This is rainy day fun stuff. Do not go in here. I leave a little bit of a hole in here, so when I get ready to grab my scissors, I'm not fighting a super tight space to go in. Just grab my scissors, I throw my pocket knife in there, snap it off, and we're ready to go. I do trim this tail here. Okay, and this is the final product. So uh, just a quick overview. We have three of our sides covered. I won't be accessing from over here, so I didn't see the need to do that. We have all the information in all the same places. 1,500 rounds of 9 mil Defender FMJ at 115 grains. Up there on the top again, here at the bottom. Remember from stacking, I can't see that. So I have it here. If I have my ammunition back to back like this, I can't see that down there. If I have it side to side, I can't see it there. That's the reason why I go around all three sides. If you have this uh, trapped on um, the left, the right, the front, the back, and the top, you, you, you have entirely too much ammo. The likelihood of you needing this here is slim to none. Uh, guys, remember all these products that I've showed you today are on Amazon. They're inside of our affiliate link. We do get a small kickback for that for referring these uh, products. I absolutely love MTM. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around today for this video. I really love the MTM products so much so that we're going to be doing some reviews on some other products later on. So that you don't miss those reviews, make sure you go down below and hit the subscribe. Also give us a thumbs up on here if you liked our content. And how do you store your ammunition? Guys, we love you, thanks for watching, and as always, plink responsibly.